welcome to a new vlog. I feel that this vlog is gonna be quite special. I know I often say that this vlog is gonna be special, but this time, oh, this time, it's gonna be really special. First of all, it is because I'm in a new location, which I have never been before, the Maldives. And this vlog is gonna be special because we're also gonna test and review that new GoPro Hero 11, which I think I'm gonna shoot most of the clips of, of this vlog on. It's taped now, so no one can actually see that it's a Hero 11, but it's the Hero 11. And the one I'm filming right now is also the Hero 11. And in this vlog, we also have some new guests. Let's start off with Carla. who is a cyber broker during the day back home in London and during the night she comes here because she's been growing a passion for oh it's quite windy actually because she's been growing a passion for the ocean and wildlife over the past years so yeah she comes here and she actually organized trips for people to come and experience this as well as getting the knowledge to educate people on the wildlife and everything which I think is super sick then we have Nasiko with our local friend here and guide. Then we have Ishan. Also here from the Maldives. And you've probably seen his Instagram already. It's quite insane. I've been following him for quite a while and I'm so happy to finally meet him. And then we have Agu. is gonna help us with everything in terms of underwater shooting and also incredible diving expert. I think we have pretty sick team and now we're heading to Anifaru Bay. But first, before we get into the water, let's jump back in time to this morning where everything started. A little Maldivian breakfast, which is what did you say it was? Masuni. 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 And it's like tuna chops with coconut, and then this is how do you call this one? Oshi. Again? Oshi. My favorite. Some bread. <laughs> bon appetit. And how do you eat it? My mom. <laughs> <laughs> Take a piece of it. Yeah. Roll it in. Like a spoon. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Mm, oh, the bread. Mm. I, I know. <laughs> I'm French, so I'm like very much judging bread. Mm. So we were actually a bit in a rush oh, okay. because we we're about to miss the ferry, which would be a shame because then we'll miss the flight. <laughs> then we'll not get to the island. The cool thing is that the island is not so big here. Apparently, it's only like so, two kilometers, not across, around to the ferry. And we made it to Trans Maldivian Airway, which is the world's largest seaplane company. This is a serious amount of seaplanes. Oh, are you excited? I'm so excited! I'm so excited. First time on a seaplane as well. First time on a seaplane. First time on a seaplane for everyone. Not for the boys though. They're, no, no, they're no. like, ah, we've been flying me. quite a lot already. I mean, here in the Maldives, when you have to connect a thousand islands, if you need to be uh, efficient, I guess seaplane is the way to go. I can't stop smiling, and you, you know when I can't stop smiling and it starts hurting, it's a pretty good sign. Oh, I heard a fact that the pilots actually are barefoot and I want to see that in real. Yeah, you have to be the pilot. You're not barefoot yet, so... You have to remove your shoes and then you can probably pilot.
Is it forgetting it? It might roll into the water because the tug is quite choppy. I love my new DB. And I actually not released yet, but this is gonna come out soon. The four wheelers by DB. Okay. Welcome to Davahandu. And welcome to the world. Where we're gonna stay for the next three days. Cheers! We made it to Hanifaru Bay. This is the spot. <laughs> Straight to the point. Oh. So Hanifaru Bay is basically known uh, to be the center of the current here in the area, in between those atolls where a sh lot of planktons actually gather. And because they gather here, it happens that they're gonna be the food for the manta rays. So are these manta rays or just sand? Not sure. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully we will get to uh, swim and see some wildlife here. Okay, enough talk. Now let's get the gears ready and let's dive into the water. Also stick around because we're gonna talk a bit about the specs and about this new Hero 11 a bit later. For now, let's dive into the water. as you saw so we had like i don't know like 40 say 40 mantas 40 50 mantas. oh in one spot it was pretty the racing <laughs> racing for sunset it is actually now happening oh what it was kind of not so many colors two seconds ago and now it's exploding so it's like this with the sunset wow. so yeah super successful first mission and then we had a little bit of a nap because of course being in the water that much very tiring and now i was about to bring some spec to talk to you guys about the hero 11 a bit <laughs> but i think we're gonna talk about sunset right now <laughs> wow 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 can we see how much color it has that's the one thing that i wanted to say about this hero 11 is the 10 bit uh, for now i haven't even checked how it looks compared to the 8 bit that the hero 10 used to have but yeah the fact that now you can shoot uh, 10 bit color wise you can edit grade a lot more where it's going to make a big difference especially for things like vlogging like i'm doing most of the time is that you would uh, be able to bump up the skin tones and get a bit more of that nice normal color instead of being very orange so yeah 10 bit is one thing that this camera has not in all the modes though but still i think the 4k 60 has it not the 4k 120 the 5k 30 has it am i shooting with 10 bit now i'm pretty sure yes are the colors nice if they're not it's because i suck at color grading uh what else do we have we have <laughs> should i fly the drone or is it too late huh let's stop talking <laughs> I'm not shooting with the drone though because oh I'm trying God. to do a mount for that thing to see if the Hero 11 can fit on the Avatar and yeah, that would be a good replacement we, for my DJI but I still don't have a mount for it so for now it's like duct tape and shitty solution What if we put a GoPro oh. on the battery? Oh, the stick? The base. Yeah. But then it's like I only have one battery for the GoPro oh, which could ah. be nice and I mean the color is almost gone, so let's keep the drone. See and how quick it is in Maldives. How yeah. quick that it comes, it goes. We freaked out three seconds ago, yeah. and, ah, and then it's like, ah, oh, see you tomorrow, sunset. Okay, so now on to one of the bigger, I guess, improvement that this GoPro has. It has a sensor that is an eight by seven in terms of ratio. It is useful. Let me show you first how it looks. I'm gonna try. Okay, so this is how it looks like. And you'll be wondering like, yeah, it's, it's maybe a bit weird. Like, what would you shoot in the square format? Because it's almost like a square. You would shoot like this because you'd then be able to, look at this, crop vertical if you want to have your vertical stories. Or you can shoot in 16 by nine if you want to shoot for your vlog and stuff. So yeah, you have basically everything in one and you don't need to 
yeah rotate your camera and then have to think about it and all that stuff so it's very practical and i think i'm going to use a lot this mode and it also has a very wide field of view which would be nice for i guess pov like this now it's a bit dark <laughs> <laughs> we can also test the low light performance of this camera i think it's pretty good but i haven't tested it yet so and i'm also running on like a pre-production firmware so i'm not quite sure about if everything runs super smoothly yet on to a next one but before we show you more specs about the Mio 11, look at what Ishan just made. Nice, yeah? There we go. Now it's folding. <laughs> that was the only solution we had right now. Now it's stuck on the battery. So I can basically only use it with one battery. <laughs> yeah, I think so now. Perfect. So now we have one solution to maybe get some FPV shots. See you guys tomorrow. See how much the crows are like on the drone the whole time. I was scared when I was flying above water, but this thing is actually a setup Amazing. that works. Motors are not overheating, I think. Yeah, it looks like it's actually working. But now let's see the footage. I want to see those crawlings. Oh, oh, oh the crows in slow motion. In slow mo, yeah. Wait, let's go under. Oh, here, here, here. here. Oh, oh for the slow mo of the crows, I was shooting in 2.7k, 4.3 aspect ratio, so I can use real steady to then stabilize the footage and in 120 frames per second with an ND filter 8 right. and then I think I fixed the shutter at 1 240 so then it would be like not changing the light too much Woo! Job on, the, yeah. on the morning mission yeah. this oh, was oh that was so cool I love morning missions Finally a bit of sun, that is. So now that it's sunny, you can't get on a paradise island like this without going to the beach, relaxing, just taking a nice dip because it is so, so warm. While we get to the beach, I want to talk about more specs of this Hero 11. With this camera, you can shoot in hyper view instead of super view, which I think is even wider. I don't think I'll use this for vlogging. I can show you how it looks like. I mean, you tell me what you think, but I think it's a bit too wide. I mean, it's pretty fun, except if you have some people next to you, because they might be ultra deformed. But if you want to shoot POV stuff, that is pretty cool. Hello. Okay, so I'll probably stick to the wide, and I think also the quality might be a bit better. More specs of this Hero 11, which I haven't really tried yet, is the fact that it can shoot 27 megapixel photos instead of, I think, 23 on the Hero 10, which, let's take a selfie and see how good it is. What else do we have? Oh yeah, I haven't even talked about this fact. I don't have it also, that's why. But there is a Hero 11 Mini also that is gonna come out. And yeah, I cannot wait to try it. I mean, I've always wanted to have a small factor GoPro. It's something that I would use, for example, on the FPV. You don't have a big screen at the back, but if you put on an FPV, you don't need a screen really. So yeah, Hero 11 Mini is gonna be sick to try. I think it has exactly the same features as the Hero 11. Check. Check the 
Apparently they... Like in eight times, they go inside and run around the island. So there is like a full flying shark on the island. This beach is pretty paradisiac. Yeah, and those chairs, jolly, jolly chairs. Yeah. This is the typical Maldivian chair. A rack. Just relax under a palm tree. And it's so comfortable. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going straight into water. Okay, do you guys want to say bye to this vlog? Yeah. Well, I guess it is the end of this vlog. I hope you guys like this. Maybe I'll do another one. No, I'm 100% on the GoPro this time. Also because I really want to try my new GH6. So yeah, for now, if you liked it, please subscribe and do all that stuff, you know the drill. Uh, and in the meantime, go check them out as well because they've been posting a bunch of stories of our trip too. What else did I want to say? Two, three, and channel to my subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> Please channel to my subscribe! You know everything! <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Please shout out to my subscribe! <laughs> <laughs>